In today's video, I am super excited to be sharing with you a spring, early summer, second trimester wardrobe. And these are just some different outfits that I've desperately needed to put together. My clothes are starting to get a little tight. I am 20 weeks along. And so I'm really excited with these outfits and I'm really happy with how they turned out. So in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing some different ideas, some different things that I am learning, some things I'm changing about my wardrobe in this pregnancy. This is my second pregnancy and I am by no means a pro. I am trying to figure this out myself. I still don't quite know what my style for sure is, but I know some things that it is not. And so in this video, I'm just hoping that it will be helpful, maybe give you some ideas and just share another opinion of ways you can dress that little bump you got going. So with that being said, let's dive in. So this is how I look right now. I have a 20 week bump, which is really starting to poke out the last two weeks in particular. And so I'm kind of still though at this awkward stage where it's hard to tell whether I'm pregnant or if I just haven't worked out my abs for a very long time. And so I really don't like to wear super tight shirts like this at the moment because it's just really awkward. And I hate those, those times when you see people and you're like, are they pregnant or are they just a little chunky? So the fabulous thing though is that you can take something like this roughly tank top, put it over top of your little tank, and it completely hides the fact that you're pregnant. And so my goal kind of is to not look pregnant until it's very obvious that I'm pregnant, not that I just have a big, big belly. And so all of these outfits are very roughly. They take the attention off your belly. They're kind of boxy. They hide the fact that you have a belly. And they're extremely flowy, light, and springy, which I really, really love. So like I said, I'm no pro. I'm just trying to figure out what works for me and what is the look being pregnant that I really like and what's the look I really don't like. And so I know some people really like to show off the fact that they're pregnant right away, and I totally get that. But for myself in particular, I imagine I'll be pregnant quite a few more times. And so I don't mind hiding the fact that I'm pregnant until I can't hide it anymore. And so my biggest tip and the biggest thing about how I'm choosing to dress this pregnancy is to wear really loose, flowy tops until it is very clear that I'm pregnant. And then after that is probably when I'll pull back out my stretchy dresses that at the moment... I packed away as of today, which was a little sad, but hey, there will be a day I'll wear them again. I also love these flowy tops because they're casual, they're simple, but you can also dress them up and really make them look super nice and super dressed up and fancy with very little work. And so I will throw on this vest, I love this hat, or I'll put on a belt, and it just immediately dresses these up very, very easily, which is fabulous. The next tip that I have that, once again, is very optional because it depends on whether you like to show off your bump right away or not, is that I wear all of these shirts when I'm not pregnant. And so it saves me so much money because these are wonderful shirts. I love the fact that they're flowy. I love the fact that they're breezy. I love this style even when I'm not pregnant. And it's also really wonderful because right after you have the baby, at least I had a bit of a belly for quite a while. And so these shirts really hide that well after you have a baby as well. And the thing that I love about peasant blouse is also is that you can nurse in them. And so they're very versatile. And so it's just a tip to save some money. Also, like I mentioned later on, probably in my third trimester, I'll pull out the stretchy dresses that I wear when I'm small. And then it's so clear that I'm pregnant. I don't mind emphasizing that fact. So that is usually when I'll start wearing the more stretchy material. Okay, once again, I love this next shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. I wear it quite often. I wore it almost all of my last pregnancy. And the reason why I love it is because it's super versatile. It's fairly long, so I can wear it with jeans to church and it covers my rear, which I really like. 
And it's super simple, but I can also fancy it up very easily. And it's really flattering up until the very end of pregnancy. And so I think finding a couple shirts like this that are just kind of flowy and long and stretchy, they're so wonderful to have because it makes getting ready so incredibly easy. And I love that element. Here I have this tank top. I absolutely love it. Once again, it has a ruffle which distracts from the belly, which is fabulous. So there's a few examples of shirts that I am wearing while being pregnant in the second trimester. This shirt is a shirt I recommend you don't wear if you're kind of doing my look and trying not to look pregnant until it's very obvious you are. I don't know why, as soon as I see gathers right below the bust, I assume the person wearing the shirt is pregnant. And so I'm going to be waiting to wear this shirt until I am very pregnant. However, I did pair it with this pair of shorts, which I bought at the thrift store for $5.00. All of my clothes basically are thrift store clothes. I love when you can find maternity pants or shorts though that have this belly band type thing. It's so nice and it's so handy to keep your belly fully covered, which I really like. Also, another tip to look for in maternity jeans is to look for jeans that's pockets are higher rather than lower on your rear. And the reason for that is because it'll make you not look like you have a seggy pregnancy bottom that's just not attractive so I tried to go for pants with pockets that are a lot higher rather than lower down on your tail end just a little tip for you now I know I mentioned this in my fall wardrobe video but I really really hate wearing dresses and skirts maybe because I grew up wearing them every day however occasionally you do need to wear a dress and so I'm kind of going for dresses like this these are kind of the type of dresses now that I wear to church because the gathers are right where your belly begins and so it kind of takes the attention off of your stomach and hides that whole area for a while which I really like I also like to wear looser dresses and skirts just because I feel like they're more modest especially on your rear and so I really like this dress because of that. Okay, so although I showed you a whole bunch of beautiful, feminine, flowy spring outfits that I'm super excited to wear to church and wear to see friends and wear to outings and to go grocery shopping, the reality is that this is not what I wear like at least five days of the week. The reason being in the summer, I am coated with dirt. I work outside basically every single day, and so it would not be practical or a good idea to wear these outfits. So I would love to say this is what I wear every day, but in reality, it's more something like this. I wear these work boots probably five or six days of the week. They're my favorite shoes by far. So, so comfy. I wear very, very holy paint spattered jeans that are covered in dirt and usually a tank top or an oversized shirt or when it's really cold, I wear a flannel. And honestly, that's what I actually wear the majority of the time. Because most of my summer and spring is spent out in the garden, and now this year in particular, it's spent working on the remodel. And so, in reality, this is what I wear, and I feel very comfortable in it. I actually really like this type of clothes. They're just comfy and cozy, and I can get a lot done in them. All that being said though, I am very excited about these other outfits that I have to wear on the days when I see anyone besides my husband and I go anywhere away from the house. All right, now back at the house, I went through and I cleaned out all my dresses that are too small now, which is quite sad, but hopefully by next spring, I'll be able to wear them again and I packed away all of my stretchy dresses to hopefully pull out in maybe two months, I would guess, and I can start wearing those in my third trimester. So I hope this video maybe gave you some ideas. I have no clue exactly what I'm doing as far as dressing for pregnancy goes. I just look back at some of the clothes I wore my last pregnancy though, and I cringe, so I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. And so I hope this video maybe gave you some ideas Congratulations to all of you who are pregnant out there. I've received a lot of comments from other women who are pregnant around the same time as myself, which is so cool. So thank you so much for watching. I also have these two skirts I did not show in the video, but these I should be able to wear with some of those blouses on Sundays for a while as well. 
which is fabulous. So thank you for watching and I'll see you hopefully next Saturday in my next video. And by the way, if you are pregnant, comment down below and share how far along you are. It's super fun to know that we're all on this journey of pregnancy and being mothers together. So thank you so much for watching and I love you all so much. Bye-bye. Face. Oh, you look pretty. Tracker, go over there.